Sweet takes what's on offer. And again, the two stars in the middle. The captain and the vice captain, and that's a punishing kick. And Georgiades is able to hang on to the mark within scoring range. He did have two score assists so last week, so contributed. He'd love the contribution to be maximum here. And that is beautifully shaped and just the result thereafter. Trying to get it forward. Need is an improving player. Burgoyne back in the team. Sends it deep and again gives Georgiades a golden opportunity. Oops. Very much thinking about playing on there. Two from two for Mitch Georgiades and Port Adelaide. Now Sanders and they're linking up there with their own handballs. Trouble low for the Colonel there and holding the ball. Kick nine in the first four games. It has dried up of late, but 17 goals, 14. He gives that a fair whack and the Bruce will allow it just to stay on target. The lobster claw might have just come down on an arm. I reckon he did. That's a free oh. kick. Well, how's that for slick handball? Burn Jones back to Wines. What a great quarter of football from Port Adelaide. English to tap through Bontempelli. Oh. Issues. How big? Really big. In the AFL for score involvements. And he can do some of it off his own boot. And there's every reason to celebrate for Port Adelaide. McRae, Richards. Can he connect with a bond? When they need something, who else would you turn to than Marcus Bontempelli? Oh. Farrell, he got himself potentially into a bind, but he gets out of it, and it's created options, and again moves swiftly. Burn Jones, and Jordan Sweet takes the grab. Jordan Sweet for his first goal at his new club. He is going to enjoy that one. That the Bulldogs need to display, though, to try and... Get themselves back in the contest. Houston, the turn and the fire. And how well was that way that Georgiades really didn't have to move a muscle. Left goal, left point post. Yeah, you can see that there. He just, just wears a, a, just nothing really. A swinging arm just got him in the right spot. We're going lofty handball over the top. Now stretched out from Finlayson to Marshall. You could see what he was going for. It was plain and obvious. And it was superbly executed. Six coaches' votes, which was more than anyone else. And again, where the votes were well spread. Goes back, just a little steadier for Port Adelaide to cap off a marvellous half of football from the home team. Poked away by Wines. When Francis was ready, he knew where it was going off Burn Jones to Boak. Nibbles one into the middle to Mead. Good, positive lead from Georgiades. When Port fans were thinking what they were going to get today, I don't think they could have dreamed of 10 goals to three at half time. But that's exactly what we've got. Houston off to Bergman, sweeping through half back. He had to leave his man, and oh, he was off. O'Donnell, he's feeling it. He couldn't stop Marshall. Pokes the kick to centre half forward. He gave Gallagher a look. Able to just do enough to intervene. He's hurt his shoulder, Gallagher. Another one down. Enzo, Nothing to show for this third quarter. High ball from Sanders. That's better. That's the fifth. Real confidence he'll stay a Bulldog. For Ruckman, he is a very good shot for goal. And that's his second. And that's something for the Dogs. Got the access, but not for long. Shut down. Instead, it's Jones. Off to Finlayson. He can have one bounce. There's a second if you'd like, Jeremy. Instead, he's trying to connect forward. Doesn't quite get it right, but Horn Francis so quickly on the boot. They needed an answer quickly. I reckon they got us. Yep, yep, free kick. He took off and he was he got a block and he forced the dogs to grab. Hasn't been there. So Jason Horn Francis can go forward and bang three goals. How handy is that? Waiting for no one, Port. Butters to half forward. Aims up Burn Jones. Equal numbers inside the arc. He goes wide for Narkel. Full wind up. And then he's kicked it. The contact was magnificent. It's been a day out for Port Adelaide. And Narkel wanted him. 
Marshall is somewhere in between. Finlayson, if anyone's going to kick at 65. Here's Georgiades again. Lob just does enough. Knuckle desperate to kick another goal. Mitch, he'll kick this. That's five. Play on. Up and under. Oh, Darcy got worked out of it, and the ball found the bonk. When he's on an angle. From 30 metres out, though. He's just done enough and put through his second goal. In the end, he did have to submit and give the handball back to Wines. I think he had designs on going all the way. High ball, English. Evans, snappy little hands. Rosie, he'd love a goal. It's about the only thing he hasn't done until now. He's skipping away with a 32 disposal, one goal game, the captain. This is Sanders to get to a more dangerous place. Carraw's kept working all day. Possession 35. The top two ball winners in the competition. Into Vandermeer to centre half forward. Frazier with a chance to kick an AFL goal. He won't get many better opportunities than that. Something out of the day for the Dogs. The win last week was the tonic. So much can change in a fortnight. Port Adelaide deliver their best. And the Port fans, they love their players and they love their coach. Some very different emotions than what we saw here a couple of weeks ago. Join Kane Corns and myself, Riley Beveridge, for the round so far, where we bring you all of the results and break down the weekend's events. All the biggest winners and losers and what it means for them and the competition. Join us first thing Sunday mornings all season long for the round so far.